But the pride comes before the fall. It's always nice sometimes to hear these incredible English sounding words or sentences or motivational quotes and refer back to the good book. The big book always gives you um, context and understanding, understanding, having of the message. All right, let's open the, um, let's go to Proverbs, right? Let's go to Proverbs 16 verse 18. What does it say? Let me open it. It says, it is better to be lowly in spirit among the humble than to divide the spoil with the proud. Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Let's look at another scripture. 1 Samuel uh, 17 verse 42. When the Philistine or the Philistine looked and saw David, he despised him because he was just a boy. Rudy and handsome. Ruddy or Rudy and handsome. Let's go to another scripture. Proverbs 8 verse 13. To fear the Lord is to hate evil. I hate arrogant pride, evil conduct, and perverse speech. Proverbs 11 verse 2. When pride comes, disgrace follows, but with humility comes wisdom. Let's go to Proverbs 17 verse 19. He who loves transgression loves strife. He who builds his gate high invites destruction. Let's go to Proverbs 18 verse 12. Before his downfall, a man's heart is very proud. But humility comes before honor. Proverbs 29 verse 23. A man's pride will bring him low, but a humble spirit will obtain honor. I want to read as many scriptures as possible so you understand that this message I'm saying, I didn't just get it from somewhere and I'm just spewing it out of my mouth and just spewing bile that I also don't understand. No, I live by these words because... I've got a lot of mentors and I've been, mentor I've been mentored over the years to understand the meaning of this message because I've lived by this message my entire life too. Ask anybody who knows me or anybody that I have ever met that I've known even though it was for a little moment. They'll probably tell you about my character. Character is everything. Judge a man's character by not what they say with their mouth but how they behave it's about their deeds how they lead their lives how they treat humans that can't do nothing for them all right let's get into jeremiah 49 verse 16 a terror you cause and the pride of your heart has deceived you oh dwellers in the clouds of the rocks oh occupiers of the mountain summit though you elevate your nest like the eagle even from there i will bring you down declares the lord there are a whole lot of other scriptures that emphasize this message. I did a video about it. I think it was a couple of days ago, if it is not about a week ago. And I was saying to you, humility moves mountains. I was talking about being humble. It's always nice to see people who have done well and they're just so not assuming. And when you find out on your own how well they have done, you actually even get extra impressed because you're like, wow, I didn't expect this. This person, they just seem so unassuming sometimes you can mistake them for being just ordinary mere man or mere woman down the road or here in, in the street or just a guy or a lady next door you find out later they're actually really intelligent or they're actually really successful or they are loaded or something like that right so it's extremely important for you to try and understand the message comprehend it so that then you lead your life according to the big book and i know not everybody follows the big book but remember the big book was talking about people that look like you and i people in the african continent because life started in africa so you must always understand that even if the big book was remixed at some point it is a good book because it does talk about history and they always say what has happened before will always repeat itself it'll always happen again in this world that's why you never know if you're going to be here tomorrow. You never know if you're going to be here next month. You never know if you'll still be alive at 4 o'clock tomorrow. It's just believing in God and something called faith. Believing in that which you can't see, but you believe. 
and on Obunkulu Kulu and Apaga to work or any Akok Balega Kulu to understand the Langua to go to Itini. No man Abem Sambunga Ilande got a into ants who understand the Lam Lies or to teen. Oba Limkel or Utusis or Ubaka and Erring Ibil. Le Hail or maybe when you are not Motuadi Karek up our religion. It's always important to acquire an education. It doesn't matter where that education comes from. Even if the education comes from your enemy, even if the education comes from your opposition, your op, even if the education comes from a different religion that you don't follow, read the Torah, read the Bible, read every book that you can come across that you think can give you knowledge. Understanding is extremely important because it's knowledge. That's why even in the book, big book, it talks about knowledge being power. Arm yourself with knowledge. Once you understand things better, you can always do well. That's the reason why even people that get to capture governments, they lobby, they give politicians money so they're able to not only control them, but they're able to get these politicians to be influenced, to push for certain policies, for those bills to be signed into law. Kanti Bona behind the scenes, they've been planning on how they're going to use that loophole in the law to enrich themselves, right? That's why they'll end up doing that other people. But even when you get to do well and the good Lord blesses you, you must never look down upon your fellow man. You must never look down upon your fellow sister. It doesn't matter even if they don't look like the, the, they don't look like your, your ordinary people that you would normally respect, even if they're not wearing a tie, even if they're not even driving a nice car, or they're not even driving at all. Shonipa wonke umuntu emhlabeni hlompha mthomo ngilomo okopa nang lena ibhayibheli liyasho ngesizulu bathi hlonipha uyihlo nonyoko ukuze izinsuku zakho zande ezweni ukuqala ukuhlakanipha ukumesaba u Jehovah <laughs> I don't want to start sounding like I'm a pastor now like I'm all preachy but let me tell you something that you already know most of these motivational speakers, these people that you look up to, and all these people that come up with these incredible quotes, a lot of them get that information from the Bible. All these motivational books, all these motivational, inspirational speakers, that message is already in the big book. It's in the Bible. So understand the message, understand scripture, and whenever you can, every time when you get a message that sort of seems a bit of confusing, on, you, don't, you probably don't understand it well, refer to scripture. Understand what scripture is saying about any situation in your life. But doesn't matter who's old, young, who's a Mercedes, who's a Louis Vuitton, who's a Louis Vuitton, it's a homeless person. You never know Once you start with a high horse, Bible, B-I-B-L-E, basic instructions before leaving earth. Understand what scripture says. Understand what that big book says. Even if you don't believe in it. But it's good because it's historical stories or things that have happened in the past that will eventually, inevitably repeat themselves because that's just how this world is. So because pride does come before the fall. Humility moves mountains. I love you. Danko.